Okay, so um, yesterday, Google uh, gave us their Nexus security bulletin for Android, uh, and, th and these are fixes for February. Uh, short version is you want to, if you have a Google Nexus device, you absolutely want to update because th these are not really bone chilling, but they're a, a concern. And it's funny, as I was looking through this and, and, and pulling this together for the show, I thought, okay, um, this sounds exactly like a set of security notices for a, like that we've been covering for years for like, you know, a Mac or a, a PC. And it's like, oh, yes, Android is a full-blown operating system. Even though it's hiding in a smartphone, typically, uh, it's, you know, it's as much of a, of a connected OS as any of the ones we've been discussing. So it is, it's good to see that, you know, movement in the direction of, of it, uh, of the, of this consumer device, which is as much an OS as, as the, the, um, desktop devices being given the same kind of attention, uh, to, for, for security. There were two critical vulnerabilities found and fixed by this update yesterday uh, found in Broadcom's Wi-Fi driver, which is part of, of Google's Nexus build for Android. And the concern is that anyone who leverages this vulnerability can potentially execute code remotely but only if they're on the same Wi-Fi. This is why I said this wasn't as bone chilling as, as some that we've seen before. So there are two uh, remote code execution vulnerabilities, but they involve the way the, the kernel, dr the, the Broadcom Wi-Fi kernel driver uh, deals with wireless control message packets. So it's a subtle problem, only affects Wi-Fi LAN, that is, it is not uh, exploitable at, at at a great distance. So it, ha it would be somebody on the same Wi-Fi network as you. The problem is um, that if this doesn't get patched, if it can be turned into a remote code execution vulnerability, no one is saying yet that that's been done. All they're saying is that they're able to uh, uh, correct kernel corrupt kernel memory which typically means that externally provided data can be forced into the the system and if and once the bad guys figure out how to execute that externally provided data that gives them a remote code execution uh, uh, um, opportunity so that you want to fix um, media server this very troubled module, which of course gave us stage fright and lots of coverage last year, is continuing to deliver. It, we got two critical security vulnerabilities that additional ones have just been found and fixed in it. And those are also, those unlike this Broadcom Wi-Fi problem are remotely exploitable. Again, this is somebody sends you something from anywhere and uh, that can cause problems. So, uh, you know, web browsing, uh, email, uh, MMS files, just basically your device needs to process a maliciously crafted media file. Anything that, that some bad guy can do to get that to happen can potentially uh, compromise your security. So, uh, and then there were some uh, moderate and uh, uh, there were four high severity and one moderate uh, but anyway, uh, as I said, as I was going through this, it's like, wow, this, you know, this sounds just like a regular OS getting its security fixed. And in fact, you know, that's what it is.